Hi guys, Ziv from Elementor here. Today I'll introduce you to the new Elementor Reviews widget. This widget is great for displaying and linking reviews from all over the web, anywhere on your page. It is no secret that online reviews help your customers make purchasing decisions and it's a great way to grow both traffic and sales. So let's dive in. Go ahead, search for it and drag it into the column. First off, let's check out the Content tab. In the first section of the Slides drop-down, we can see three default items. We can duplicate them by pressing the Duplicate icon on the right and delete them by pressing the X. You can also reorder the items by dragging them to where we like. Clicking on an item opens up the Editing area, where we can choose an image, type a name and title, add a star rating between 1 to 5, Choose from a multitude of social icons to be displayed on the top right corner of the slide and you can also set a link to the actual review if you like. Adding the review text is done here. Go ahead and add your slides. I'll show you how to style them soon but let's go over some other settings first. In the slides per view option you can control the amount of slides we see and in the slides to scroll option you can set the amount of slides that are scrolled per swipe. The Width slider determines the slide's width. In the Additional Options drop-down, we can hide or show the arrows. We can also choose the pagination style. There are four options. None, Dots, Fraction and Progress. You can set the transition duration here, which is the speed at which the slides will scroll. Autoplay makes the review widget scroll through the slides automatically. The autoplay speed is the time it will take before automatically scrolling to the next slide. The infinite loop option sets the slides to continue scrolling indefinitely. If you want to stop the slide from scrolling when you're interacting with it, you can set that here with the pause on interaction option. You can also set the image size from the source file which is great for improving loading times. Let's go over to the style tab. There are six drop-down settings. I'll go over them one by one. In the Slides drop-down, you can set the space between the slides. You can set a background color and control the border size and radius and its color. You can also set a custom padding if you like. The header section refers to all the content above the review text. You can set a custom background color. This will be applied to the header section only. The gap slider controls the space between the header section and the review text. You can disable or enable the separator here. Set a color and control its size. In the text drop-down, you can customize the name, title and the review text. Let's set a color and change some typography settings. Go ahead and set it to your liking. In the image drop-down, we can set the image size, control the gap between the text and the image, and set the border radius. In the icon drop-down, you can keep its official color or set a custom one if you like. We can control the icon size with this slide. The Rating drop-down gives us the possibility to customize the star rating. You can set the icon type by choosing between Font Awesome and Unicode. The Unmarked style has two options, Solid and Outline. Solid fills in the unmarked stars and the Outline option leaves them empty. Use these sliders to control the size of the stars as well as the spacing between each one. You can also set the color of the stars that are marked as well as the unmarked stars. The navigation drop-down allows us to set the arrow size as well as its color. The pagination option gives us the possibility to change the size and color of the pagination elements. As you can see, this widget is extremely customizable and allows you to create endless unique designs. The sky's the limit! Well, that's it! Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos and tutorials. See you later!